My name is Tony Messiah. I'm a painter working in abstraction and I'm a Gallery 9 stable artist. This show was a movement from my previous one, which coincided with my master's degree, where I was working predominantly with research into the way that intuitive processes play out on a painting surface. That work dealt a lot with how colour and material affects intuition. And in this particular body of work, I wanted to explore how marks on a surface uh, fill and move around space in habitual ways, how my habitual understanding of space plays itself out in intuitive ways on the surface. The previous body of work was dealing with what sort of sensations or affects come from a painting practice, so the material that you use. Paint itself seems to have a, a feed off and a habitual way of managing it. When I'm trying to think about intuitive behaviours within painting, the handling of paint impedes that in a way. You have to filter the intuition through the way that you habitually use the stuff of painting. It's not necessarily looking through, it's understanding the relationship and how one uh, pushes the other around. You have an intention or an intuitive kind of sense about a action to take in a painting, but it plays itself out according to how the material is managed. Sometimes the material will completely interfere with your sense of what that is, and sometimes you'll find that you're, you're defaulting to your habits and therefore not really expressing that intuitive sensibility. Um, I think I push every body of work I do, I will have to assess um, what, what are my habits in making and what some, I guess, hooks that I latch onto within the manoeuvring within painting. To recognise those means that I have to avoid them. <laughs> So I think the pushing towards newness in painting or in managing painting is about setting new limitations to myself. And that's through colour, form, space. And in this particular body of work, it was definitely to do with space. You sort of understand, you have a sense for what you know and you know that you don't know what is next and you're constantly reaching for it. And in that reach is hopefully where that, that sort of new tempo comes from. Oh, inspiration is interesting. It's an interesting thing to have because absolutely other artists' work infiltrates your mind and it's unavoidable that they will play themselves out in your making process. But it's very dangerous to have acknowledged inspiration sometimes because I think they can interfere with an intuitive process. So I think you're, you're almost kind of hovering, you're letting the things you know and the, the influences you've seen and the things that inspire you sit in a soft focus at the back of your mind and you're kind of using them as flavours within things but not necessarily tactics or strategies. So you have to be very careful about how much they infiltrate the process. <laughs> yes, exactly. There are definitely painters that teach me new ways of doing things but I, I for myself, I have to kind of play that out differently. That's an interesting question. Uh, truth in art. I always associate truth as being something absolute. And I think in abstract painting, um, it rejects absolutes by nature. So I think truth is an interesting concept to have when you're dealing with a playful painting practice because one truth in one minute becomes a lie in the next. So I think in, in essence, abstract painting is a replication of life and human existence, where there are lies that are necessary and there are truths that should be kept quiet. The two have to kind of gravitate around each other and dance around each other. You also need to acknowledge when it's important to not go for absolutes, perfections and truths, because you need to keep some things protected from that. The, the process that I took for this body of work was, was pinned on models of uh, social spaces and the power dynamics that exist within them. And I have taken those models and 
laid them as a power base or a ground in the paintings. And the marks and forms that move themselves around that surface become activated uh, entities, almost like the way that people move in space. And I was researching and observing in my day-to-day -day life what are these power dynamics that exist and how do they affect the individual moving within those spaces? And then translating it back to painting in how do I take up space? Gestures are sometimes supportive to the power structure beneath it and sometimes slash against it. So the psychosocial spaces and the dynamics within the works um, are psychological models that I've then translated into abstract form. Do you think about that when you're painting? I think about it initially, so I have a sense for what the base is going to be, so what is the power dynamic, um, how the gestures and the forms move in that space starts to become a conversation as I work. So I have a sense for entities, so that there might be a hierarchy of things that are in charge and things that have to follow. Um, but as I'm painting, the nuances of how things work start to <clears throat> make, that, make that narrative a bit richer and sometimes I'll discover things I didn't expect.